Hi, welcome to Guernsey in the Channel Islands. We are on another live. Look at this. So it's quite high tide. I think it might be, uh, it's common op, I think. Could be wrong. And they were down Ladies Bay. Ladies Bay. So only ladies are allowed on this beach. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But maybe years ago. So a lot of people walking the dogs. A lot of people out and about. Look, we've got a nice little sign there. Look, just to the right of the screen. Be responsible, dog owners. Pick it up. So welcome along to Guernsey. Hope everyone's good. So I'll talk a little bit, a bit about where we are. And uh, what's going on. Hello Matthew, how you doing? Let me know where you're watching from Matthew. And if anyone else is here, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know what the weather's like. Thanks for joining me uh, on this live here in Guernsey. Welcome along, hope everyone's having a good day. What's the weather like where you are? So, we're about 15 degrees here in Guernsey uh, this afternoon. Windy, around force five. Uh, Matthew, you're in Jersey. Ah, cool. A neighbouring island, Jersey. It's nice to have someone else from the Channel Islands watching. Yeah, I come to Jersey quite a lot, Matthew. I haven't recently, uh, recently, but I used to go for like, trips over there. I used to stay at the Royal Yacht Hotel. Jag, hi, where are you watching from? Welcome along to... Uh, Ladies Bay. Louise, hi from Birmingham. Need to come to Guernsey again soon. Yeah, you need to, Louise. When the weather's nice. I mean, it's 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 not too cold, actually, today. It's funny, because it's like... It's windy. Force 5, four, 4 to 5, maybe. Uh, temperature's 15, though, because it's like... Wind's come from the south, west, I think, today. So I thought I'd come down here and uh, show you the views. So this is Ladies Bay. Let me know if you've ever been here. Uh, and further along, Chuay. This is a popular beach. Philip, hi Ross. From the world famous Stockton <laughs> Jag. I live in Cobo Bay and work there. Back home visiting in London right now. Ah, so you are from... Ah, okay, cool. So at Cobo Bay, but you're in London visiting. Where you can have a, a piece of home. Look, well, a piece of where you work, not home, but... You can't get away from work, can you? <laughs> yeah, Kobo Bay, nice hotel. So we've got... Um, yeah, it's not a bad day. The sun's been out. It's all up and down at the moment. We've got sun. Uh, we've got a bit of rain and wind. So, you know. But it was April. Can't ask for too much, I suppose. Although, hopefully soon the weather will be getting a little bit better. So, uh, yeah, this is a really popular beach here. So this is um, not far from my house. Ladies Bay. Very popular in the summer. So you come down here in a few months, it'll be busy. Uh, Jag, visiting family here. I'm living at the Wayside Cheer Hotel. Ah, yeah, I know that. It's right, really close to my house. I live at Porton first, so that's just like a two-minute drive. Wayside Cheer, yeah, I know it well. Excellent stuff. Good to see people on from Guernsey and Jersey. Jersey crappos. Well, let me show you around here. Look. So we've got the golf course. Langcrest golf course here. So you can see people wrapped up. Look. Jag, do you know the owner, Ken? No, I don't. Jag. No, I don't know Ken. So that's the golf course over there. Look, so see this path here? You can walk the whole way across the beach, the top of the beach, if you know what I mean. So where those people are walking now, if you keep going, you'll, you'll, you'll go right to the other side of the beach, as far as you can see over there. And there's a nice kiosk at the end there. I don't know if it's a Woody's kiosk, is it? You can get a lot of people in the summer, get coffee. There's a few little tables outside. Toilets there as well. Philip, we'll be there in five weeks. Cool. 
Hope you have a nice time. The weather should be a bit, hopefully slightly better, eh? Should be a bit better. A lot of wind at the moment, but you know, it's, you can't ask for too much, I suppose. But yeah, good little, good little spot here. And I'll show you back round over here. I can show you a bit further round. So as I said, this is a golf course. So over to my right, there's like the green and the fairway and all that. Landcrest, Landcrest Common. It's known as. Yeah, look, so that's all the golf course over there. Don't know if you can see any golfers. It might be a bit windy. Oh, there is someone. Might be a bit windy today. Hello, uh, Toon, hiya. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. T-U-A-N. Toon. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just looking, it's not too cold, which is nice. Not too cold at all. Hiya, from Sri Lanka. Hello. Hi to Sri Lanka. Wow, what's the weather like in Sri Lanka today? Guessing it's nicer than this. Um, I did go to Sri Lanka. I have been to Sri Lanka. Lovely. Beautiful. It was lo we had a lovely hotel. Don't ask me where. I can't remember. But it was uh, hot. Beautiful place. Yeah. Um, Sri Lanka's nice where I went anyway. But yeah. So anyway, round here. This is just another beach. I did a live yesterday at Port Gras, which is... So I'm basically working my way around the coast. I'm not, I'm not doing that purposely, but I just tend to be. I'm slowly working around. There's a few beaches, actually, I could have, could have gone to if I'm doing it that strict, but I'm slowly working my way around, clockwise round. Uh, weather is a bit miserable today. Yes, it is. It is a bit miserable today. Not nice. It's a bit... Um, it's a bit windy, a bit rubbish, but yeah, it's, um, it's just typical of what we're getting at the moment. You're welcome. It's just typical. I mean, hopefully the winds will die down soon. I think they give it pretty much. Yes, you're finally here, John. From So how are you getting on? How are you getting on in Guernsey? I've seen you were here actually in one of your posts. Bit of a change from the weather, isn't it? How did you find a job in Jer in Guernsey? Someone asked. Um, the best thing to do, and I always tell people this, you're loving it. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah, if you want to find a job in Guernsey, the website I always tell people to look on, look on is... Um, it's like the local government website called the States of Guernsey. It's like a government. Uh, and all, a lot of jobs are listed on there. If you type in www.gov, which is G-O-V dot G-G. Hope I've got that right. Gov dot, yeah, it is. So it's www.gov, G-O-V dot G-G. And um, if you then maybe adding jobs at the end of that. www.jobs.gg, Guernsey. And uh, oh, a lot of jobs on there. A lot of jobs on there. I always sort of steer people towards there. Because uh, that will give you the, I think, I don't know if every single job's on there, but there's a lot on there. And, it tell, and there's also a lot of information on that website, uh, all about coming to Guernsey and about what you need and what you need to do if you come to work here and live here. So it's not just jobs, there's a lot of stuff. It tells you basically all about Guernsey, what you need if you're going to work here and all the rest of it. So it's quite a useful one to look at. Gov.gg. That's always a good one. A lot of info on there about work permits and all the rest, of, you know, that sort of stuff. Is anyone playing golf? There's some people over there cutting bushes or doing something, but I reckon it might be a bit windy today for golf. Do people try and see? No, I can't see anyone from here. I thought there might be some windsurfers around. So it is windy. 
Yeah, what do you think of this beach? So if you like the beach, I'd recommend coming to this one if you come to Guernsey. Especially uh, when the tide's up, really nice. Uh, I haven't walked as much as the last two days in probably 15 years. Don't know how... <laughs> so I didn't read the rest of that. Yeah, so... Not bad weather, 15 degrees here. Slightly warmer than normal. But obviously in the wind, it feels cold. As usual. Do you like the sign here, look? Be responsible, be a responsible dog owner, pick it up. Does everyone pick it up? I uh, wanted to go to Kobe Bay for lunch, but the clouds put me off. Yeah, can do. Yeah, please. It is people. <laughs> yeah, it's, it does get a lot nicer. Don't worry. The weather will pick up a bit. It will. It will pick up a bit. Just how it is. Yeah, so further around this, uh, what I'm trying to think. So if you go further around, duh, 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 uh, a bit further around, you've got um, maybe like a five minute, uh, two or three minute drive from here. It's probably the next decent beach would be Pembroke, Landcrest and Pembroke. Pembroke and it goes into a Landcrest beach, it's essentially the same beach, just separate slightly. Pembroke uh, is bigger than this. Pembroke's quite a big beach. I so say it goes into Landcrest's beach as well. They essentially look one beach, but they are slightly... I think the right-hand side is Landcrest, left is Pembroke. And there's a nice cafe at the top. Beach House Cafe, at the top of Pembroke, which is... On sun, Saturdays and Sundays is busy, you can have food there. You like sit inside jobs. It's, like, it's not like the normal kiosk, it's, um, it's a proper building going. That's at Pembroke. Beach House, I think it's called. Yeah, beach house, yeah. You can go in there for coffee or something to eat. You go there on a Saturday, Sunday, even in the winter. Like, I mean, it closes, it does close but in the winter, but uh, it's nice to go in. Yeah, so let me know where you're watching from. Love to find out. So this would be like north part of the island. Northwest ish. Quite at the top. Top of the island. So I reckon this was Ladies Bay years ago. I reckon. It was only ladies allowed on this beach. That's why, that's why I think it's called that. Maybe way back. Way back, maybe. See any golfers? See anyone? No. Yeah, so if you jump on this path here, you have a nice walk along here. All the way to the other end of the beach, although it will be windy. Nice, uh, nice walk along here in the winter. Even when it's like rubbish weather, you can walk along, you know, these, you know, it's like these beaches are lovely for walking along. Wrap up, get blown about. There's a bloke down there walking, look, there's a few people. Pretty much give this weather, I think, for the weekend. A bit mixed. So yeah, so local time, what is the time? 
depending on where you're watching from. 3.30 in the afternoon here. And, um, yeah, 15 degrees. So definitely not sunbathing weather. Not yet. Nowhere near it. But it'll come. I don't even see the kiosk. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Who said hi? There's a kiosk over there, right at the other end. Of the, you know, it goes right around the other end of the beach. There's a kiosk over there. Well, I have done a live from that end of the beach a while ago. Like a few months ago. On a really nice day. It's a beautiful day. Models in scale. You say that, but I go... I got sunburn yesterday. Did you? Oh, yeah, I suppose you could have. Yesterday, I know what you mean. I sat in the garden and while the sun was out, it was quite nice until it rained. <laughs> I sat in the front garden yesterday, like, um, I had a few hours off work. Uh, I'm coming to Guernsey for the summer, can't wait. Sail hose, something, so I can't pronounce that. Oh, nice one. Can you see that bird hovering? Look, where is he? Of a shot. Can you see that bird hovering? He's doing a dive bomb. What's he going for? He's landed. It's Kestrel. Is that a Kestrel? They hover, eh? You've seen them. They look awesome when they hover. And there, there he goes. Look, he's off. Sometimes they just hover in the same place for ages, don't they? Yeah. A lot of people visiting Guernsey. So it's quite useful if you come to Guernsey. Have a look around the channel. Have a look around my channel if you are, because... A lot, of, a lot of stuff on there, all about Guernsey. Um, a lot of drive-alongs, a lot of walking through the high street in town, St. Peter Port. Quite a lot of stuff. You might find it quite useful. See what it's like. I know a lot of people watch my channel because they're interested in what it's like because they're either coming to work here or they used to live in Guernsey and they're interested in what's going on. So hopefully it's useful to you or you might just be interested and... In what it's like to live here. Oh, Either way, it doesn't matter, does it? That sea sounds beautiful. Yeah, so I was saying about the... Uh, yesterday, you said you got sunburnt. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. I was... Um, I sat on the front garden uh, in, in, uh, and I live uh, on the west coast at Portsmouth. Um, on the west there. So I... I got the deck. I didn't have a deck chair. I got like a table and chair in my front garden, and I sat there. And when the sun came out, it was, it was really nice. You had sort of that summer feeling on your face, though the sun. Hi, we have some first-time visitors to Guernsey in the summer and already booked a meal at the reunion and hoping for spectacular sunset. Yes, you will. Um, you'll have a really nice sunset at the reunion. So that's west coast. One minute from my house, that is reunion. It's really close to my house. Uh, you'll have a lovely sunset. Ob obviously, it depends on the weather, but like you can have some gorgeous sunsets there. Beauties, absolutely beauties. Yeah, it's stunning. You, you'll be able to see it out the window. I mean, you can go outside and look at it as well. But it goes down. And people on in the summer, people will see outside reunion and Cobo Bay and that. And um, you know, you know when it's really nice weather, late into the evening. And they just sat outside watching the sun go down. It's stunning. It really is. It's beautiful. But it's got to be nice weather. Yeah, this is a bit rubbish. Yeah. Well, a lot of people go to the Rock Mount. There's a Rock Mount, Rock Mount pub and you can eat there as well. Rock Mount's right by the reunion. Pretty much next door, I think. And um, you can go there and people... You can, there's tables outside the rock, there's tables outside the rock mount and people sit there, have a beer, watch the sun go down. Uh, we are hoping for nice weather is good, weather is good for, yeah, hopefully the weather's good. It will get better. It'll get better. It's actually raining at the moment, you probably can't tell. It's not raining that heavy. 
but it's raining. And they did give rain. They give rain now to about five o'clock, I think. A lot of grassland, the common. So quite a few people go, quite a few people go fishing down this beach, off the shore, night time, for bass, I think. Hello, Kui. How you doing? So I hope everyone's good. Thanks for joining on the live. Uh, so if you've just joined us, we are down Langcress and uh, we're down Ladies Bay, this is called, in Guernsey. Of course. Of course we're in Guernsey. Well, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else, would I? <laughs> And um, yeah, so just another nice beach. Pembroke, and what we've got, we carry on around, we've got Bordeaux, loads of different, loads of different places. Both set marinas, like not that far away from here. And beautiful, Matthew, I'm moving, because my dad has work there. I'm visiting February and went to the most, the bunkers, to do the golf club drive. Wow, so you're coming here to live. That'd be nice. Not a bad place to come and live. You know, I, had, I was chatting about this the other day to someone and, you know, you get a lot of people, you know, they say about Guernsey, oh, it's it's too quiet, you know, it's... I couldn't live it, I couldn't live in Guernsey, it's too quiet. And uh, I do get that. I mean, if you're from a city, if you're, if you're from, like, a big city in the UK or wherever, of course it's, like, a massive difference. But it's not for everyone, is it? Matthew, yes, I'm so excited. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, it's a nice experience to come and live on an island, Mafia. It'd be nice for you. Um, yeah, I get it. I mean, it's not for everyone. Some people love it. Some people don't. It's like a quiet, you know. I mean, there's places like this in the UK, isn't there? There's quiet little villages where not a lot happens. It's a bit like that. It's it's like a, it's like a village, but quite a big village, I suppose. Um, a lot of people know it. You recognise a lot of people living in Guernsey. It's like you would anywhere else, you know, any any little village in the UK, you get to know everyone. It's just like, that is the only place we've got there. We we can't jump on a motorway and bomb down the, the, you know, the M1 and go somewhere different. That's the difference here. Essentially, you could be like stuck in a little village, if you know what I mean, without being able to leave. Matthew, I thought that was first but when I visited. I loved it and now I love it. Yeah, I mean, it is a shock. Nowhere better than Guernsey on the hot summer's day. Yes, 8563, Robbie, I agree. I agree. In the summer, there's nowhere better. It's you got all the beaches, you know, it's a really nice atmosphere here. Then in the winter, it's just miserable. Like anywhere is, I suppose. But the difference is here that you haven't got the places to go to and it's rubbish rubber. Sorry, Ross, phone went on a rink. I was going to say that court is also very nice and the ladies. Yes. Um, but we ha you, can't, you can't go like to a shopping centre. Hi, uh, I saw that a few last times walking. My boss, she knows everyone. So be nice to people. Yeah, you do, you will know everyone. If you stay here for a while, you do get to know people. Or you recognise people. A lot. Yeah, a lot of people. Because it's small. But, um, yeah, I, I would say the main difference of living here is that you, you can't just go on the motorway and you can't just go to a like, big shopping centre if the weather's rubbish, you know, because um, we, we really haven't got any and you haven't got, like, the big cinemas and you haven't got the, you know, just the vastness of it, which I really notice. What a lovely sign. <laughs> I know. Unfortunately, I didn't really want to have it in the in the video, but it is where it is. And um, I sort of wedged myself in here, this little bit, <laughs> so it's there. That remind everyone, look, you've got to be a responsible dog owner and pick it up. But not everyone does, trust me. Matthew, my uncle lives there with his wife and son. I went to take a dog along Saxon for a walk and the amount of bunkers shocked me. Yeah, so there's a lot of bunkers here. 
and they're German. They are German. They were built in the Second World War because some of you will know this, some of you might not, but this island, Guernsey, was occupied by the German forces in the Second World War. It was occupied, it was taken over by them, and they built a lot of fortifications, a lot of stuff still here. Uh, big anti-tank walls everywhere, they're still up, some of them collapsing. There's a big anti-tank wall at Pembroke, to stop the tanks coming up the beach if there was an invasion. Um, and a lot of German bunkers, like, uh, everywhere here. I can actually see some now in the distance. You can't see them too far away. But, yeah, you'll see a lot of bunkers, especially around the common, especially around the coast, on the beaches. There's still a lot of German bunkers. They normally put, like, seats on top of them and all that. They've sort of integrated them in. And a lot of them still... Um, look okay some are some are eroding away with time some are falling apart a little bit around the coasts uh but and some they've some they restore and you can go in them and have a look around at certain times so if you're interested in seeing that um have a look i don't know where you'd find it probably online somewhere but you can go in bunkers sometimes and they're restored i think they've done one at uh where um Langcress. So where Pembroke is, the Land Crest end in the car park, they've restored a bunker. It's actually in the car park. I think you go down steps into it. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of those bunkers around. Uh, Susan, hi Susan. That sign looks more like a T-Rex than a dog. <laughs> does, let's have a look at it. It does look like a T-Rex. Uh, Robbie, Goons is amazing for World War II history. Yeah, it is. Yeah, if you like World War II stuff, you might like it, yeah. A lot of history. And they, they've got the German, on, they've got the Occupation Museum here as well. Uh, so if you like that, visit. It's the German Underground Occupation Museum. Or the military, yeah, there's quite a few museums here about the war. Um, a lot, so you didn't have to stay here. A lot of people got evacuated. My nan got evacuated, went to Halifax. Uh, or you could stay and live with the Germans, but they had a lot of rules in place, from what I understand. Matthew, when the restaurant was on fire, that was in February, yeah. Uh, the time, 59, always think it's true, Mark, of how good the place is, looks in the rain. Yeah, you're right. So it is pouring down. You, I don't know if you can tell. I've parked strategically, right? Because I knew it might rain and I parked facing the other way from the wind. Uh, there's the Occupation Museum and the Underground Hospital and the Villette Museum. There is, yeah, thanks for that. 8563 Robbie, yes. So visit those. A lot of history. A lot of history here. And there's still people that... Um, are alive now that you can speak to that stayed here in the occupation. They tell you exactly what it was like. With my job, I speak to a lot of older people and I, I, very, I speak to them a lot about it. There's a guy, one of the places I go to, he stayed here in the occupation and I chat to him about it loads. Have they fixed the sinkhole near the airport? Yeah, I think they have, Matthew. That was by the little chapel, wasn't it? I would have thought, I'm not 100% sure, but I would have thought they have. They wouldn't have left it. I'm pretty sure they'd have done it by now. They wouldn't really leave something like that here. It's too dangerous. That was in the news, that. Um, yeah, so you can, yeah, it's quite interesting. I think they, um, so there's a curfew, so you weren't allowed out after a certain time at night. My grandparents stayed. Are they in occupation of Rockane, Mr. Lass? Uh, have you done the videos on the museum? I haven't done any videos on the occupation and the museums yet, but that's something I need to do. Um, yeah, that's something we do. As a message for you, Susan, first time I went to Guernsey, T-Rex was number one mental... <laughs> <laughs> 
It is coming down the rain. Good job I'm parked away from the wind. And it's windy. Can you tell it's raining or not on the, by these pictures of the screen? Let me know. Can you tell it's raining? Ginge Airport is the cutest and best airport ever. Yeah, Guernsey Airport's small, but it's nice, isn't it? It does the job. It does the job, Guernsey Airport. I'm getting a bit wet here. Let's pull in a bit. Um, does the job, doesn't it? Lisa Hurley, no. Oh, you can't tell it's result. <laughs> I forgot what I asked then. Yeah, okay, so some of you can, some of you can't. It probably depends what device you're watching it on, whether it's clear or not, but the visibility. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Robbie, try, you think Guernsey is small, try Alderney Airport. <laughs> it's like a packing shed. <laughs> the visibility is deteriorated a little bit here yeah, due to the weather, so sorry if the pitch is not great. Lisa, you're in Guernsey right now? Oh, cool. Where about in Guernsey are you, Lisa? Let's have a look around here. Susan, how easy it is to get to Alderney from Guernsey? Pretty easy. Just jump on a plane. Or boat, I suppose. It looks miserable. Yeah, it is, Matthew. It's gone miserable. It's gone rubbish. Are you in St. Peter Port? Uh, it's 20 minutes on a flight. Yeah, you're right, Susan. So Lisa's in St. Peter Port, capital of Guernsey. Nice one. Nick, seven weeks and counting. I'll be there. Nice one. So there's a lot of people coming here by the looks of it. And hopefully the weather will have improved for you. Because you don't want a common weather like this. I mean, it's not bad. It's not the end of the world if it rains, but it looks better in the sun. That's for sure. So what hotels is everyone staying at? Let me know. Do you know? I'll let you know if they're any good or not. <laughs> now nah, they're all pretty, they're all good. Well, it's one of those things you probably get what you pay for, don't you? Like same as anywhere else in the world. Some are, some are nice, but you probably pay a bit more. Look, that, those, that guy's getting soaked. I think he's got his waterproofs on. I guess we're staying at the Fermain Valley and, and also Duke of Normandy. Yeah, they're both nice hotels. Yeah, won't have any problems with those. Lovely. Fermain Valley is beautiful as well. Nice location. Duke of Normandy is nice. La Villa, yeah, nice one. Yeah, and all those hotels are all good. To be honest with you, there's, you know, you get, it's the same as you go anywhere. You, you get a cheap hotel, it might not be the best, but in Guernsey, you're not really going to get anywhere too dingy. They'll all be pretty okay. You can obviously pay more and get nicer places. But the fair mains, like, you know, quite expensive, I suppose, in like, different places, but they are nice. Or you could go, like, somewhere cheaper. And it's got the basics, it'll do the job. So it won't be quite as nice. Uh, we've even got Premier Inn now. Yeah, we have. Monkle lives on a road called Rue de Vivres, which is outside of the Queen's Hospital. Oh, yeah. I don't know that particular road, but I know the hospital. So, yeah, I know roughly where you are, yeah. Yeah, I know, roughly, the hospital. Yeah, I mean, like, in Guernsey, there's not really any awful areas, neither, which is quite interesting. Um, you know, I know most places you live, there's, like, a bit of a rubbish areas, and but with Guernsey, there's... Everywhere's nice. You know, you haven't got, like, a poor part where there's all homeless people. It's in St. Martin's, yeah. I mean, you don't get, like, beggars on the street and all that around here. 
You don't get people living in uh, like in a in a, in a uh, what's it called? Not a bin bag. It's a sleeping bag on the streets. You don't see any of that. That just doesn't happen. In a way, I suppose it's quite up market here. <laughs> But it is, ex it is expensive to live here. Especially to buy food. If you're from the UK and you come here, you might have a shock at the food prices. Most people do. The sea always gets me, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Is that Laney Nix? Sorry, I can't see this too small. I think that's what you said. Yeah, it is beautiful. Even though it's raining, it's really nice. Matthew, I was walking down the steep steps in Peterport. Yeah, I know, in St. Peterport, there is a lot of steps, Matthew, and there's little, little narrow little things sometimes, they're little narrow little s streets and stuff of steep steps. The windy streets of St. Peterport, eh? Yeah, there's definitely no one playing golf. How nice is this, eh? We won't forget that sign in a hurry, will we? <laughs> you do see piles of dog mess everywhere, though. A lot of people don't pick it up. You can get fined for not picking up dog mess, but I don't think anyone does ever get fined, so I don't know how they do ever prove it. Unless you're caught red-handed by a policeman. Maybe lunch. Yeah. You know what I mean? There, there is, you can get fined, but I don't ever remember seeing anyone get fined for, uh, you know what I mean? It's, you just, you know, it's just something you should do, shouldn't you? It's just common sense if your dog, you know, if your dog does a poo, pick it up, take doggy bag with you. Over for the 60th birthday, hence the meal at reunion. I want to give them a good impression of it. Yeah, you'll do a good job there. If you take them to reunion, you'll give a good impression of the place. I think you will. Nice restaurant, yeah. There's a few people brave in the weather. Uh, the Time 59 is a wayside cheer at Grand Rock Still Hotel. Yeah, the website seems to suggest they were renewing. Yeah, they have been. Hi, Lucy. Yeah, the wayside cheer was closed, I think. I don't know what happened to it. I thought it closed down, but I think someone said they're staying there, so it must be back open again. Wayside cheer is right by my house. Yeah, right by Grand Rock Beach, isn't it? And Cobo. Did someone just say they were staying at the wayside cheer that was watching? Let me know if you're still watching. I'm sure someone a minute ago watched... What's that noise? That's my car. I'm sure someone a minute ago said they were staying at the Wayside Cheer. Let me know if you're still on. Uh, they like walking the South Coast Cliffs. Yeah, South Coast Cliffs would be lovely around there. Yeah, around E car. E car, cl cliff walks, lovely around there. Yeah, I mean, walking my dog, you do see piles of dog poo everywhere sometimes. It's not, don't get me wrong, it's not horrendously bad, but you do see it and you think, like, oh, these people just haven't bothered picking it up. But it's just not nice, because if, 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 if no one picked it up, it'd be a mess everywhere. Uh, the self-catering block next to the wayside, where my family stayed. Oh, OK. Nene, I'm planning to walk the entire south coast. That'll be all right. You probably could. It's not, it's not undoable, walk on the whole south coast. I've sore feet. 
The south coast is nice. I don't tend to go around there a lot because it's not around, you know, it's not really on my doorstep, which is ridiculous in Guernsey because everywhere's on your doorstep. But when you live here, you do sort of get a bit lazy where you go. Matthew, I'm going to head off now because I'm going to pack my bags to go to Guernsey tomorrow. <laughs> All right, we'll have a nice trip and you'll be here tomorrow, won't you? Hope it's not too windy on the plane. You'll be all right. Still raining, by the way. Matthew, you're coming here for a week. I'll have a nice time. You never know, I might see you somewhere. Eh? I do bump into a lot of people now that watch my channel. It's coming quite regular. It's good. Nearly every day, nearly every day, someone will say hello to me, I watch your channel. A lot, of, a lot of locals, actually, a lot of people that live in Guernsey watch my channel, which I didn't think they did. I sort of convinced myself a while ago. Yeah, last time was quite fun. All right, Matthew. Um, I convinced myself no one really watched from Guernsey. So it's very rare anyone ever comments. But um, now, yeah, a lot. Lucy, all the same for Vancouver. Dog poop and poop on the carpet. Oh, no. That's not nice, is it? I feel like a, feel like a tour guide. Do you have any recommendations, Ross? Um, well, yeah, if they like walking. Uh, you, I don't know if it would be on. The petty trains are worth a little a look at. The petty train is a little train. It takes you a little tour with St. Peter Port. Uh, it's not a real train, obviously, because you haven't got real trains in Guernsey. It's a little train on wheels. It's motorised and it pulls carts and it takes you on a little tour. It's quite a nice way since Peterport. Uh, it goes from the um, Le Petit Train. If you, They've got a website. Uh, you can look it up. I think there's, I think they're running at the moment. I was talking the other day. They go from St. Peterport, a place called Albert Pier. If you look up uh, Le Petit Train Guernsey online, you could do that. And they do little tuk-tuks as well. You can get a little ride in a tuk-tuk. There's -tuk. little little tuk-tuk things. They're getting soaked. Um, yeah, you can do that. Um, they're nice little tours to do. Something fun. Obviously, St. Peter Port's quite nice to walk around. Good shout. I forgot about the petty train. Yeah, if anyone else has got any recommendations, let me know in the comments about Guernsey. I'll go blank when someone asks me because I live here. But yeah, that's a good idea. I'd recommend that because I've been on it. Someone was only saying the other day they went on the tuk-tuk and they said it was a, they really loved it. It was a great way to see Guernsey. But obviously, you got to make sure the weather's all right, but it should be quite nice. But yeah, there's something nice about sitting in one of those trains and being driven around St. Peterport. They take you all through the high street and stuff, I've seen to remember as well. I think they, oh, I don't know if they do. They do that at Christmas. I can't remember if they do it um, another time. Yeah, but have a look on the website, the Petty Train, dot, the Petty Train Guernsey. I'm sure you'll find it. Probably tell the times they run and all that. Um, yeah. So the cruise ships will be coming at some point soon. to Guernsey, minus Princess Cruises, because Princess Cruises have pulled out of Guernsey, they're not common anymore, which is a shame. Apparently it's due to fuel, so who knows what that means? Who knows, that doesn't make any sense to me. But... So for all the visitors coming onto the St. Peter Port, you can tell when the cruise ship's in because the town's heaving with people. A lot of people around. It's really good to see that. I love it. Like in, in um, When it's like summertime, the sun's out, and you've got a big cruise ship or maybe two cruise ships out, out outside of outside Peter Peterport, and you drive through, like it, it makes the island look beautiful seeing cruise ships outside. Then um, when you drive through St. Peterport, obviously they're all in St. Peterport because that's where they get dropped off from the tender ship, tender boats. And it's heaving. It's so busy in St. Peter Port and it's, it's amazing. It's good to see. People everywhere taking photos and wandering around and stepping out in front of cars. Because <laughs> they don't know which way to look. 
like I did when I went on a cruise. You land somewhere and you've no idea. You're completely disorientated even when you get off a ship. You don't know which way to go. Where... <laughs> That's good. It's still raining, by the way, if you're wondering. But yeah, it's, it's good. Um, yeah, it's a shame Princess cruise ships aren't common anymore because they are, they are some big ships, but there is still some other big ones. And there's some small ones come as well. Some smaller little ships sometimes. But we haven't got a dedicated terminal, uh, like a ferry terminal, you know, they go in. They 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 moor outside the island, uh, just off Guernsey, and they get the little tender boats. So you get the little tender boats bring you in. And the problem is, is with the tender boats, is that a lot of the time, well, quite a lot of the time, the cruise ship uh, cancelled and they're, they're due to arrive to Guernsey and they cancel because the weather's too bad. Because they, the tender ships, the tender little boats, is too rough for them to bring people into the shore. So it's a shame. So sometimes they'll be like, you're scheduled for a cruise ship and they'll just say, sorry, it's been cancelled, it's not coming in today due to the weather. Because it's just too rough to get people from the ship to the shore. So that, that's a shame. That happens quite a lot. Not mega lows, but it's it's not on, you know, it's when you hear it, you think, oh yeah, another one. It's a shame for passengers, it's a shame for the passengers because obviously you might want, you know, some people want to see certain places and all of a sudden they're told they can't come here. So I always feel a bit sorry for them really because their Guernsey might have been somewhere they wanted to see. And I don't know that. I don't know if that's why Princess Cruises have pulled out, because maybe there was so many times they couldn't actually stop here. They're not going to bother. I wonder. I wonder if it was that reason. They didn't say it was that reason. They said it's due to fuel issue, fueling costs or something. Which I thought, well, did they have to go that much out of their way to get here? It costs more fuel. I don't know. Well, maybe it's because they spend more fuel to come to Guernsey than half the time they can't even stop here. <laughs> so maybe that's why. Maybe they thought, forget it, we're not bothering. Mm, that's just me. That's just me guessing. Oh, that's not bad, is it? It's definitely not walking weather at the moment. Definitely not. Uh, Susan was lucky the weather when I visited in October and it was... Tenefest, yeah. Tenefest is always good. Well, it tends to be more £12.50 a fest, doesn't it? There's not all Tenefest, some are a bit more. So they do a thing in Guernsey where you go, you go, they do a, it's called a Tenefest, and you can go out for like a three course meal for 10 quid. But then you go to some restaurants and it's more like £12. But they get you on the drinks, don't they? Because they get you to buy drinks and they make the money that way. But it's still quite a good deal. Lucy, eh? <laughs> and we go. Ladies Bay Beach, if you just joined us. This is Ladies Bay. No ladies down here. Only dogs and people walking their dogs. It's got to be years ago this is only ladies allowed. That must be why it's called it, surely. I'd like to know the history of that. Susan, that's inflation for you. Could get to the 15 if that's a full time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Actually, I think some of it might be 15 quid. I don't think you're far wrong. Yeah, it makes me laugh when you go out for a tenner fest and it's actually like 15 quid. I think some of them are 15 quid. Some places don't do it. It's not everywhere. You got to, it's, up to you. it's up to the restaurant if they want to like participate in it. Lucy, April Shower's in Toronto as well. It's 11... 05 a.m. Ah. Yeah, well, it's 4.05 p.m. here. And raining. And 15 degrees. I 
Uh, oh, are they still doing sand racing at Vazon Bay? Yeah, they are. Sean, it's raining now. Go and have a nap. I don't blame you. Yeah, they they actually do they do uh, autocross here at this beach. So on a Sunday, on a Sunday they do it. They race at this beach we're looking at. They do autocross, so the old cars race on the sand. What's the time? Anyway, I'm gonna have to go. I didn't realise I've been on in nearly, nearly an hour. Uh, yeah, thanks for everyone for uh, coming along as usual. Love these lives. Uh, I could stay all day, but obviously I've got things to do, so I've got to shoot off. Uh, I don't know if it's every Sunday. I don't know if it's every Sunday. But I hear them, the racing round. Yeah. So it's still raining. So thank you for joining me at Ladies Bay here in Guernsey. Always great as usual. And uh, thanks for commenting. And uh, I will see, you're welcome everyone, and I'll see you, see you Dave, cheers. I'll see you on the next live or the next video. And uh, you can always watch us on the replay. All these lives are back on the, all these lives, you can replay them on the uh, channel. They're all on there, if you ever want to watch them. Yeah, bye for now, Susan. So bye from a rainy Guernsey. Have a nice afternoon or morning or wherever you're watching from. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Hi, Dave. Say a quick hello. Hello, Dave. <laughs> uh, maybe see you around. Yeah, probably see you. See you, Lucy. John, see ya. Yeah, thanks. All, all the local, all the crew back, look. It's good to see everyone back on the live. And don't forget that sign, look. Be responsible, dog owner. Pick it up. <laughs> see you next time.